The agents of methanogenesis are microorganisms organized in groups, each of which exerts a specific function. To begin with, the group of bacteria called hydrolytic disaggregates complex organic matter into smaller fractions. This action yields simpler molecules, which are soluble in the medium. At this stage, the same microorganisms, together with others, mainly fermentative bacteria, transform the solutized molecules into intermediary products such as alcohols, organic acids of low molecular weight, and volatile fatty acids, which include acetic acid, as well as hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Following this, another group of bacteria called acetogens begins to operate. They transform the alcohols and the acids into acetic acid, molecular hydrogen, and carbon dioxide, which add to that already formed. At this point, two distinct groups of microorganisms responsible for the formation of methane come into action. First, aceticlastic methanogens transform acetic acid into methane and carbon dioxide. Starting from the complex organic compounds, more than 70% of the methane is produced through this pathway. The other group, called hydrogenotrophic methanogens, utilizes carbon dioxide and molecular hydrogen to produce the remaining 30% methane. In so doing, they perform an action fundamental for the equilibrium of the process, namely, the removal of the hydrogen produced in the preceding stages. Any accumulation of hydrogen will block acetogenesis and cause an excessive accumulation of volatile fatty acids in the medium. If this happens, there is often an increase in acidity, which contributes to stop the process. Among the various microbial species present, we also find those which are called sulfate reducing. As the starting material usually contains a minor amount of sulfates, these bacteria utilize a small part of the available molecular hydrogen to reduce it to hydrogen sulfide. Finally, we have a mixture mainly consisting of methane and carbon dioxide with a small quantity of hydrogen sulfide. It is this mixture which is called biogas.